on board, here aboard. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. So, how was your little internship? It, it was alright, but nothing compared to yours. Huh? You faced off with the hero killer? <laughs> what? Have you been listening to the news? They interviewed him. What? What? Yeah, he, he, here. Just look. As yeah, there is a such and such video on the internet in, in which yeah, it's easy. It's stain. They're talking about why, why was he so careless? How, how come after all this time now he wants to be like out in the open like this? Be honest, I was following that kid holding native. What? Why? I want to see what kind of hero he would become. Well, what made you so interested? He sent me flying. But he saw that Nate was hurt. He prioritized saving a hero over capturing me. Chances are he didn't know how I fought or he didn't know how if he could actually take me on. But regardless, him take me by surprise like that that showed uh, he has power chances are he would have possibly beaten me if he actually did try to fight me but regardless if he knew this or not he decided to save native in which during the fight I probably would have thrown some knives his way killing him but that boy saved him he cared more about his life than he did about possibly getting credit for stopping me. Are you saying he deserves partial credit? <laughs> if he wasn't there, I would have killed me. It would be out of my way. If he had fought me, he would have had all the credit. He decided to take me a run. He possibly didn't even know I was behind him. If he did, who knows, maybe he ran into those group of heroes on purpose just so I could get captured. All I know is, if it wasn't for that boy, chances are I would still be out on the streets. That's a true hero who you can actually, I'm not going to lie, you can bet your future is going to be bright with him as a hero. He prioritizes lives more than he does getting the bad guy. He knows he he has limits, at the very least. Interesting kid. I can at least say that. Very strange. And the video ends there. Everyone just gawking at Izuku. It's like, okay, that that explains all the words and whatnot. Some people think that I should have beaten him down. Others, you know, things happen. Is yeah, Toga. She's just happy to see that. Yeah, he's he's technically made his debut <laughs> a lot more than they did because. When it comes to her works little uh, thing with Black King, he's just trying to teach her how to deal with m more uh, deadly opponents when it comes to her quirk. Not to mention the whole fact that, yeah, she's going to have to be technically exposed when she she shifts. Uh, shape shifts. 
Words are weird. As yeah, then Balgo just hearing this, listening, he is pissed, but he knows he can't really fight Izuku because if he does, chances are he's gonna get clapped again and possibly expelled. He can't risk that, though there are other hero schools. He is not that stupid. He has pride, but he's willing to swallow it just in case there are complications. Izuku hates the attention. He didn't plan on this happening. He just cared about saving Nao. But if anything, he's just hoping it'll die off soon. But this is when uh, something goes on. There's another interview. This time it's with All Might. Stain, Endeavor, and so on. Are you with the League of Villains? No. Their leader... Sorry, I'm restrained, so I can't use air quotes. <laughs> is a man-child. And he is not worthy of being someone I would... You could say follow he has a dangerous devastating quirk that's no doubt but he is a terrible leader if he was the leader of the organization uh, I don't see it lasting that long there's got to be someone behind the scenes keeping him from getting captured don't know who but hmm. So yeah, Spinner, Dobby, twice, you know, people that thanks to Stain actually decided to join the League of Villains. No, no, that didn't happen. Too bad. But Toga, she's thinking, so what's his quirk? Toga, it's like I I know, but I'm curious about staying. What was his quirk? I um I don't know. Uh, I think uh, hmm. I guess you could just ask Dave. Uh, but I thought you would have. I didn't really fight him. I just kept him from killing Nate. That's all. Mm. But I will say it was weird. What do you mean? His wounds. The tendons were intact. Nothing was really cut to make it so he couldn't move. But he... It seemed as though he was paralyzed. But there was a lot of blood. Really? Oh yeah, no, no doubt. There was a lot of it, which is interesting. Cause where he was stabbed, it would have hindered him, but not so much that he couldn't escape. It was like he literally could not move. No much he wanted to. Bingo! I got it. What? It's quirk. Heck, the reason why it's hard for was her hard for people to actually get to him or at least defeat him. There was a lot of blood at the scene. The, though yes he does use swords, knives and whatnot, that could actually be employed to make it look like he's that powerful and that he has a quirk that allows him to overpower them. Which technically I think it might it might be Hmm. There wasn't much blood on Nate, if so. The blood, that's it! What? Heck, one thing I already know is about some of the knives they carry that they look surprisingly clean. 
they're heck they had jagged edges is what to the point where it's like wow are you been taking care of these things at all but they're clean it's almost like it's like uh they were wiped clean by something i didn't see no cloth besides what was around his eyes but mm, I think he, um, what, he might be tasting the blood or at least licking it? Uh huh, that might be what his quirk is. It, it could be, have something to do with when he tastes, uh, whoever's blood it is, he paralyzes them. Wow, that's that's a terrifying quirk when you really think about it. Really? Is it really that scary? Think about it. How many times have you gotten cut without even noticing? I don't know how much he actually needs, but if he can only if he only needs really one drop to paralyze you, and then again, we don't know if there's a time limit to it. Or it depends on blood type or whatnot. But, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, that, that is very terrifying. Hmm. Alright, I answer your question. <sighs> Let's go to sleep. Fine. As for the final tests and whatnot. Izuku, he's like, okay, I can't use as much as All Might when it comes to the quirk. But with this Black Whip thing, I can at least restrain him just enough so maybe, just maybe, we can get the cuffs on him. Which, yes, it is actually uh, Bakugo, who he's teamed up with. Bago still is stubborn. He knows that he, uh, I can't beat you, but I don't have to agree with you. I don't have to fight with you unless I have to. Sadly, you have to. So while Bago is distracting all my Izuku is trying to come up with a plan to counter him. Let's see. Punches do need momentum as well as relaxation until the point of impact. Unless you want to make the punch more powerful and this and that. I got it. So as soon as All Might has defeated Bakugo quite easily, Izuku is ready for him. As they seemingly get into a, you know, a brawl. All Might being completely and totally distracted. While Izuku slowly starts to wrap Black Whip around him. Not enough so All Might catches on, but just enough so it's pretty much like Boo about to absorb a motherfucker. It's it catches you by surprise if you, if you're not on guard and you're distracted. So yes, indeed. Let's just say All Might is both proud yet yeah, like I can't believe I fell for that. He's pissed at himself for being so reckless, but he's proud of Izuku for seeing how far he's actually come. Bakugo being carried by Izuku straight to the exit. He hates the fact that he got beaten, but it's All Might, of course. He's going to be the, he's the best, even with those restraints. But it adds salt to the wound with lemon juice. And the razor blades to have him be carried by Izuku like a bride or a princess. It pisses him off. To the point when he wakes up, he's like, Get your hands off me, damn it. This is now a fairy tale. I am not. I'm not a princess. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, defenseless, I'm not a defenseless princess. If anything, I'm Merida. <laughs> Who? Nothing. Yeah, 
That's how Bakugo is. He st- he hates the fact that Izuku's surpassed him pretty much out of nowhere. Izuku, he thanks Toga almost every day for her influence on him. With the confidence booze, being there for him to pick him up whenever he feels down. Hell, the fact that his mom is so comfortable with them staying alone together. Yeah, she has faith in Toga, yeah. She knows Toga wouldn't do anything to, uh, uh, problematic. Right? Right, 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 right. Now we get to the Force Training arc, in which is pretty much Toga learning how to, if not shape shifts faster or reduce the amount of clay that falls off, or even possibly, hopefully, to store, even test out trying to use other people's quirks that uh, the blood she's drunk. So, yeah, she's pretty much going gaga over all the blood samples that they just sent around her. She's, they got them in shot glasses. (sighs) Well, they never said being a hero was easy. Knowing that right now she's on cloud nine. Though she's fine with Izuku's blood, it's the fact that, wow, so many willing individuals just wanting to uh, donate. Like, see, Izuku's saying, since he already pretty much got full cowling down, if nothing else, he's working on something. He's trying to find a way to make Black Whip more like a costume or at least kind of like support gear somewhat like Aizawa's scarf with the uh, added benefit of being like you know Melissa's uh, full gauntlet yeah that still happened but a lot easier thanks to <laughs> Black Whip and him actually having more control over it but there's also something else on his mind. All my has told him was like, okay, so that's one of the quirks of the previous users. He so he has done his research. But when it comes to like the next one you should try to unlock is float. Him hearing about it, him learning is like, oh, Oh, okay. I, I, I see a lot of potential in that one. Much to All Might's uh, somewhat worrisomeness, considering how fast he seems to have developed. Also, it has been a while since I've seen that quirk. So, hmm. good. Very good. Let's see how this transpires Let's hopefully it doesn't end in disaster in which that is how the training arc really starts really due to the fact that they don't have as many powerhouses as he did before Rocky just tries to actually hmm they don't really want to uh, kidnap Bakugo as much. They haven't really seen much of that anger. They've only seen some of it. They haven't seen what anything that really a match for canon Bakugo's fury. Togiyami uh, not, re- not really. It's actually Toga that has their interest. Heck, having someone like that be a, a villain who can literally just, whoop, I just need a little blood sample, and now I'm you. 
That is a very uh, useful quirk. However, it's kind of like... Okay. She obviously has a thing for a Suzuku boy. So we can't really hurt him. Shigaraki is like... <laughs> I thought we could if he tried. All for once. No, no, we can't kill him. I need him. Take both of them. They still have muscular. Believe me, muscular just wants to kill people. That, that's all he wants. That's as well as uh, his vengeance. But hmm, who doesn't? So that still happens. It's the fact that Izuku is not one to be fucked with, especially now. So as soon as he sees muscular. He sees Koda, he's... Hmm. So you were about to kill a kid. Yeah, it was payback for what his parents did. You were killing people. Yeah, having fun. Well then. Let's have some fun. <laughs>